A group of prosecutors are calling for a drastic change concerning who has influence over which judges serve on South Carolina's benches. Nine solicitors say, say it's needed to it's it's needed to restore public confidence in the state's judicial selection process. Our state house reporter Mary Green has the details. South Carolina is one of two states where the legislature elects judges, but first judicial candidates have to appear before a screening panel. Now a group of elected prosecutors is saying that lawmakers who are also lawyers should not be allowed to serve on this panel as some currently do. Nine solicitors are calling for this change in this letter they sent Monday to the Speaker of the House and the chair of the Senate Judiciary Committee, who's also a lawyer and sits on the screening panel. Right now, this 10 member committee called the Judicial Merit Selection Commission or JMSC screens judicial candidates. They determine who's qualified and select up to three candidates for each seat from which the entire General Assembly picks. Six JMSC members are legislators and they're also typically lawyers, while the other four members are appointed citizens. The solicitors are now calling for those six lawyer legislators to immediately be removed from the JMSC and be replaced with lawmakers who have other jobs. They write this would go a long way toward improving the judicial selection process and restoring public confidence in our judiciary. The solicitors pointedly call out one JMSC member by name, House Democratic leader Todd Rutherford. They write Rutherford has been central to a number of recent scandals that have eroded public confidence in our state's judiciary and have created an appearance of undue influence derived from the considerable power granted by his role in the JMSC like his representation of a convicted murderer who was secretly granted an early release from prison this year, which Rutherford helped coordinate with a since retired judge. judge. Rutherford denies any impropriety. If they would like for the Speaker of the House to take me off of judicial merit selection, they should at least, they should at least show where I've done something wrong. They cannot. And in two weeks, the JMSC will meet here to start screening judicial candidates in what's expected to be a closely scrutinized process. Reporting from the State House, I'm Mary Green. And Representative Micah Kasky, who chairs the JMSC and is also a lawyer, says he hopes these solicitors will fully participate in the judicial selection process. And he says their testimony would be helpful for a new House committee studying judicial reform.